Hello, good morning. In the previous class, we have discussed about the GPS system and we are continuing in this topic. In the today's topic, we are continuing that is the third uh, GPS system and in this GPS system, we are completed two parts that is the space segment and the control segment and third topic is balance hour. So, third topic is the user segment. Third part of GPS system is the user segment. So, in this user segment, so user segment have variety of uh, formats that is a uh, user segment means especially the gps receiver for example in the block diagram we are constructed for the gps system and in the gps system for space segment space segment in the space control segment in on the our um, earth uh, on the earth and there are user segment user segment means we are the users of this gps system so that's why gps receiver comes in the variety of a uh, variety of formats the from the device integrated from cars phones that is we are using here cars phones and watches also so this uh, integrated circuit contains the gps receiver so the first portable gps unit first portable GPS unit is the Lika L E I C A Lika W M one zero one. So this is the name of first portable GPS that is Lika W M one zero one and displayed at the Irish National Irish National Science Museum. Science Museum at city name is Menuth. Okay, city or country name is the Menuth. So this is the first portable GPS system, GPS unit that is the Lika WM101 GPS receiver unit, and it is displaced by the Irish National Science Museum at Menuth. Okay. So, the user segment is composed of hundreds of thousands of US and aligned military users of secure GPS positioning system. That is, uh, we, are the, we are the users and uh, firstly main users are the military forces, military users. So, in the military, the so GPS receivers used for the secure GPS positioning services means we have to track the position of our enemies in the military uh, in military forces and uh, tens of millions of civil and other users are the civil civil scientist civil scientist scientist user and commercial users commercial users also so there are number of users of these uh, gps receivers first uh, is the uh, us thousands of us and aligned military users of secure gps precise positioning service and tens of millions of civil commercial in the, in the civil also we use a gps receiver commercial uses also that is for the engineers for the variety of uh, professions in the also and scientific users can uh, uses the gps receivers of standard positioning services so in general so what is the construction of this uh, user segment so in general gps uh, receiver contains are composed of an antenna that is gps receiver construction that is the construction gps user receiver composed of An antenna so what is the functioning of antenna tuned to the frequencies and this antenna is tuned tuned to the frequencies 
tune to the frequencies that antenna tune to the frequencies transmitted by the satellite transmitted by the satellite and that satellite is from the space segment that is number of satellites uh, contains in the orbital plane so that type of satellite transmitted a signal and this signal has uh, specific frequencies and tuned to this antenna okay so next is the receiver second is the receiver first is the antenna second is the receiver so what is the functioning of receiver to receive the signal which we get from the transmitted uh, sorry uh, from the space segment satellite then next is the after receiving there is a process so we use here processor okay next one is the processors and a highly stable clock and highly stable clock so in the place of this uh, stable clock we can use the crystal oscillator also so that's why he write crystal oscillator crystal oscillators also we can include in the so they may also include a display for providing locations so next one is the display display for providing display for providing the location display for providing location location and speed speed information display for providing location and speed information okay so a receiver is often described by its number of channels and this receiver so this receiver contains a number of channels number of channels contained in the receiver so so how many channels so this signifies uh, what is the functioning of these channels so number of channels contained in the receiver and this signifies how many satellites it can monitor simultaneously what is the function of this receiver channels that is uh, it signify it signify how many it signify how many satellites it can monitor how many satellite it can monitor simultaneously okay so number of channels containing the receiver it signify how many satellites it can monitoring can uh, simultaneously so originally limited number of channels are 4 to 5 four to five channels a number of channels contained in the receiver so as the year going that is it has progressively increased at, at throughout the year in 2007 that is in 2007 the increment in the channel that is the increment in this channel is so this increment is increased to 12 to 20 channels so this increment is in 2007 12 to 20 12 to 20 channels means this is increase throughout the year as the year going on so this number of channels is increases so in 2007 this is increased to 12 to 20 channels okay so this is the functioning of user segment i hope you understand there is a simple concept user user segment means we are the users of this gps system so that's why this is the easiest concept and uh, we can use this in the form of receiver that is the gps receiver so this can be used in the cars phones and watches also so this gps first gps receiver portable 
first portable GPS is the Lika GPS unit is the Lika WM101 and is placed by the Irish National Science Museum at the menu. So this GPS receiver is mainly used that is hundreds of hundreds of thousands of these uh, US and military users and uh, tens of millions of tens of civil scientists commercial users there's narrow number of users that is the number of users use this gps system uh, gps receiver so this gps receiver composed of what is the functioning of this gps receiver what are the parts in the gps receiver so we have to understand the parts of this gps receiver so gps receiver composed of an antenna tuned to the frequencies transmitted by the satellite the next one is the receiver receiver after receiving the signal there is a processing so that's why we we use here processors and highly stable clock so what is the function of this clock clock measures the exact time and speed so this measurement can be uh, used uh, yeah, can be done by this uh, cluster oscillator also so by counting the by counting by the clock so there is a display for providing the location and speed information so and the number of channels contained in this receiver this receiver contains number of channels so it signify so what is the use of this receiver uh, number of channels it signify how many satellites it can be monitoring simultaneously and uh, number of channels contained originally that is four to five and as the year going to uh, going on this number of channels increases in 2007 it must be increased to 12 to 20 channels so in our uh, 2020 there may be number of channels increases again 40 uh, 20 to 50 also okay so this is the user segment so in this way our how uh, our complete unit is completed so in the next class we will study the next unit that is the uh, this is the unit first and we will study in the um, unit second also unit second or unit uh, third okay so it can be confirmed in the next class thank you